Hi year one, for inquiry today you're going to be watching two texts and making connections between them. We've been looking at the comprehension strategy, making connections this week. There are 10 comprehension strategies that we look at in year one that help us to really think about and understand the texts we read and the films or the videos that we watch. Today when you watch these two texts, one's fiction, one's non-fiction, I want you to be drawing similarities and connections between the two texts. The first one you're going to watch is a news presentation about the Black Summer bushfires that Australia has just gone through this past summer. The second text you're going to watch is Jackie French's Fire. I know you've read that book twice already this week, but we're going to watch it again because each time we watch it, we see something new. So it's important you watch that one again today. All right, after you have watched those two, what I want from you is a response. Now, I'm going to give you a little bit of choice, new one. What I want from you is you're answering this question quite creatively though. You're answering the question of how do the ideas in the news story and in Fires by Jackie French connect with your experience of the summer bushfires this year? Now, how do you remember the bushfires that we just went through? I want you to make something, create something, draw something or write something about your experience with the Australian bushfires that we just went through, okay? So the fiction and non-fiction text that you just watched should have jogged your memory. You should have been making lots of connections as you watched those because we just lived through this massive fire in Australia that thankfully didn't come to Wollongong, but all of us knew it was going on and we could smell the evidence in the air. Some of us with asthma were having trouble breathing. We definitely experienced the effects of the fire and we could see them all around us in the skies. So I want you to think back to a couple of months ago when the fires were going on in Australia and think about your experience in this year's really, really bad bushfires. Hopefully they won't be that bad again, you one, for a very long time. Now, you're going to make your response to the bushfires or draw or write or create. What might that look like? You might like to use Play-Doh to make a bushfire scene and then take a photo of that for Seesaw. You might like to use Lego to create your house and the bush on fire. You might even use some paper to cut out some red flames and put it in your Lego construction. Again, take a photo of it when it's done and put it on Seesaw. I want to see you build or create what you remember of the bushfires this year in your experience. Maybe if you felt really scared in the bushfire, you might draw a sad face and you might do some writing with it about how you felt scared or upset or frightened or how you struggled to breathe because you had asthma during the bushfires. You, if you are at home, you could use your dolls and your teddies in your bedroom. Remember we did something similar the other day and I love seeing those of you that got so creative with it. You could create in your bedroom a scene of the bushfire. So maybe have your, hmm, look, look around, look around. You could have some chairs representing the trees that are on fire on one side of the room and you might cut out some red paper to be the flames and blue tack them on the chairs. And you could have your teddies and your dolls on the other side and maybe, what could be their house? Maybe you could build their house. Oh, I love building cubbies. Maybe you could put some chairs up with a sheet over the top and some pillows inside. And that could be your teddies and your dolls' houses. And then you could have some firefighters in the middle who are protecting the houses and the community from the fires. Maybe the firefighters will be special teddies or special dolls, I don't mind. I'm looking forward to seeing your experience with the bushfire, your response to the bushfire made. You might even just do a drawing of what you remember about the bushfires. You could draw some mountains. Maybe you saw pictures of the koala getting um, fed water with a water bottle. So you could draw a picture of a firefighter giving some water to a koala. Maybe you remember on the news seeing about really massive flames with a little fire truck. I know Thomas is great at drawing vehicles, so he might draw pictures of red fire trucks with big flames next to it, and he might like to do drawings. 
You can choose however you would like to respond to this question. I'm going to pop the question on Seesaw, but basically you're thinking about how can I represent my experience with the bushfires out of Play-Doh, drawing, writing. You could just write. If you love writing, you could write about everything you remember about the bushfires. You could say you remember watching it every night on the news. You remember the, the skies turning really grey and being really smoky. You remember it was hard to breathe. Write down everything you remember about the bushfires. I want you to have a little bit of fun with this really open-ended task you one and show me what you remember about the bushfires by making me some kind of model, doing some kind of drawing or um, doing some kind of writing response. I look forward to seeing whatever you do with a photo on Cecil.